now in the United States. I'm joined by Vinu Varghese, a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. Thanks for joining. If you can just enlighten us a little bit about what's been going on in the last few days from a legal perspective. It's been a real mess. Trump declaring, uh, making allegations of fraud, uh, making allegations of improper voting, uh, 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 improper ways of voting, so to speak. Uh, what, what do you make of all of his allegations? Is there anything, does he have uh, anything to stand on here? Absolutely not. And in fact, uh, if you look at the, the song, if you remember the song by the Rolling Stones, time is on you know, your side. It's not on Donald Trump's side. As time has gone on, he keeps losing more votes, or I should say more votes are getting counted. His argument is that you shouldn't count these votes, but no state in any election has stopped counting on election day. You've always had states continuing ballot counting. What happens is news outlets in America call elections or call the state when they've reached a certain point which they believe it won't matter with the additional votes being counted. But nothing has ever gone in the way of votes being counted. So if you look at some of his challenges, he's making these claims right now that, for example, Georgia Democrats are, are causing the problems, but the, the head of elections there is, is a Republican. And in Pennsylvania, he, he's brought an action that allowed him to get have people, some of his people, get closer to the vote counting. But there's never been anything which said that both Republican and Democratic poll watchers can't be there. So a lot of this rhetoric is just is harmful. It's, but it's typical Trump, and I think that that's the issue here. He's seen it. If you look at election night, the difference between his demeanor and Joe Biden's demeanor yeah. when they gave those things was, was telling because clearly both of them knew that this was going to happen, that these votes, once they were counted, were going to go in Biden's favor. Well, we, we're already seeing in some places in the United States live images of people celebrating. Uh, most people already believe that that's it. This is in the bag for Joe Biden. But Trump is declaring this isn't over, issuing uh, an announcement that they're going to fight to the bitter end. What can we expect in the coming days from the Trump campaign? What, what, what type of stuff are they going to throw at the courts here? Well, look, there, there, he's already, this is a guy who in his 30 years has been involved in over 3,500 lawsuits, state and federally. So they're going to throw everything um, at, at the wall and see what sticks. Look, he has a right. Some of these states, for example, um, Wisconsin and other places where the vote counts are, are very close, have mandatory recounts. So it's just... A, a process or in place, some of which he doesn't even need to bring lawsuits because when the margins are that close, they're going to recount. So if he had been more presidential, he would have said, let's wait till this all plays out. But to file lawsuits um, in a way that it just doesn't make sense is very different than the situation in Florida back in 2000. Um, you know, when you have places being, you know, already clearly going in Biden's favor and when they're counted, assuming they are. And, and, and if you're a Biden supporter, you don't want to count your chickens before they hatch, because if there's anyone that could come back, you know, from something like this, it's only Donald Trump. So until Biden actually breaks to 270 with definitive votes, I think people should stop celebrating and wait for all these challenges to play out. But I don't think the courts are going to intervene. You had a situation in 2000 where it was one state. Basically, Trump would have to overturn the results in a number of states for him to be successful and remain the president of the United States. And I just don't see that happening. Yeah, and you mentioned the Biden campaign. Are they trying to respond to this in any way? Are there legal teams involved? Or are they just waiting, waiting for the voting process to continue, waiting for the courts to handle whatever the Trump team throws at them? Or are they somehow, are they involved in trying to counter those claims in an active way? Right. Once a suit gets filed, there's no doubt, and we know this already, that Biden has legal teams set up and ready to go. So they were waiting for Trump to file his inevitable challenges in this, in, in these cases around in, in different states. And he... 
his teams are ready to go. So, but in terms of what they're saying, what, what he's saying, and look at the difference in what they're saying is, let's wait for all the votes to be counted. Never in, in, in a history has there been a situation where a presidential candidate or a president has said, don't count votes. That's not what happened in, in Florida in 2000. You came down to one state, and it was a question of whether you want to recount or uh, you know recount certain votes in certain counties. And there was a big dispute over that that ultimately led to the Supreme Court uh, intervening and, and effectively giving the election to George W. Bush over Al Gore. Here, the U.S. Supreme Court would have to yep. do that in every single state, and I don't see that happening. All right, it does look like Biden is on the road to victory, but it could get a little bit messy in the coming days. Vino Varghese, thank you so much uh, for that analysis.